These are the instructions for workplace 3A, beat the calculator fractions. So this beat the calculator is like any other beat the calculator game you've already played, except of course that you're going to be using fractions. The object is for the players to try to uh, beat each other. One will have a calculator and the other will not. And you switch off each, each card uh, whoever had the calculator for the first card will then um, hand it over to the other player when the next card is drawn. Whoever is faster and gets the correct answer gets to keep the card and the person with the most cards at the end will win. Uh, what I'd like to show you is how to enter some of these things in the calculator. Uh, this may just kind of look like a mess down here, but let's look and see where this came from. If this is our card that we've turned over, we're going to put in a division sign every time we have one of these fraction bars. So we're going to put this into the calculator as one divided by two, as you see here, and put in our plus sign. This one will be two divided by five, as you see here. Now we have a minus sign. And then we're going to put in four divided by eight. And that's how the person with the calculator will uh, work on this problem. For the other person, they're going to just use the best strategy they can think of. Um, the thing that I noticed right off the bat was that four eighths can be simplified. Uh, I can divide four by four and eight by four, and it is one half. Or maybe you just look at it and you just know four is half of eight. So this is one half. Well, if I have one half here and I take away one half, then that just kind of zeroes out. And the only thing I have left is two fifths. I can do that maybe pretty quickly and win that card. Um, so it may truly be more of a race than you thought it might be. Let's look at some other clues here as to how to play this game. Any fractions, and we kind of went over this over here, but any fractions are going to be entered as division problems. So three-fifths will be entered as three divided by five. Another one is that mixed numbers must be entered with a plus sign between the whole number and the fraction part of the expression. So one and two-fifths would be entered as one plus two divided by five. And then the calculator is going to, by default, give you a decimal answer every time. And so if you want to check and make sure that that decimal answer is equivalent to your fraction answer, then the way to do that is to enter your fraction answer as a division problem. So let's say you got three fifths and the calculator uh, shows you that it's 0 0.6. So I'm going to clear out the calculator and I'm going to put in three divided by five. And if that also gives me 0 0.6, then I know I was correct. So that's a, uh, a good way to check your answer. Have fun playing beat the calculator.